Hey guys, all right, so this is still four. We are going to start with the maximum profit definition. And this is really talk about if any, okay? Not all the time that you're gonna able to achieve maximum profit. Maximum profit, if any, occurred, occurred at a production level, at which the marginal revenue equals marginal cost. Okay, so what I'm going to give you is this formula, okay? Marginal rev revenue, so if you guys remember, is R prime of X equals marginal cost is C prime of X, okay? And I'm going to try my best to explain this with a graph. So let's talk about X, which is item produced, items produced, okay? And for our Y, we're going to have dollar sign. So I'm going to draw first, okay? I'm gonna draw this graph really quickly and then see if, uh, let's see, let's start at zero. And then this is in no order of, okay, let's try that again. All right, there you go, okay. So let's call this a cost graph. Oh, how about a different color? Would that be better if I use a different color? Okay, cost. Red, right? When we think of cost, we think of red. All right, red, cost, in terms of X. Then let's draw a revenue in green. Oh, yeah, money. Okay. So usually with businesses, you're going to start with a loss, and then hopefully at some point you're going to make a profit. Okay. So this is revenue in terms of X. Now, as you can see, this is a point where cost and revenue are the same. So this is what you call a break-even point. Break-even point, okay? That means cost and revenue is the same. You're not making any profit. Now, let's get a different color. How about orange, okay? This part right here, can you see that? Let's find a tangent line. Can you see that this is when the slope of the cost and revenue are about parallel? So when that's the case, that's something special, right? Where the slope of revenue, which is R prime, and the slope of cost, which is C, they're the same, they're parallel. This is when something is special. In this definition right here, I said, oh, well, you know, that's really, um, uh, maximizing profit, but not really the case. Can you see that this is also maximum loss because the cost is on the top? So at this location, it's actually max loss. Wah, wah, wah. Sad face, right? Okay. Then we're going to go over here. Revenue over here. Let me get a different color. Over here, you can see that the revenue, it's above Okay, let's find where the slopes are the same. Maybe right there. Okay, right there. So this is eyeballing it. So can you see that about here is when the revenue is going to be at its most? And how do I know that this is when I'm making money? Because the revenue is above the cost graph, right? You're bringing in more money than you are spending money. Cost is spending. So because the slope is the same for both, so this is when you're going to have a max profit okay so when you're doing r prime of x equals a c prime of x make sure we check that it is minimax all right let's do apply examples suppose that r of x is 9x which is revenue and c of x is x to the third minus 6x squared plus 15x where x represents thousands of units so be mindful of the unit measurements is there a production level that maximizes profit if so what is it so obviously, I want to do R prime equals C prime, okay? 
So let's do our prime. The derivative of 9x is 9. The derivative of c is going to be 3x squared minus 12x plus 15. I'm going to try to solve for 0, so move a 9 over. So 0 equals 9x squared minus 12x. 15 minus 9 is going to be 6. Okay. Let's solve for it. I'm going to try to factor out a 3. Does 3x squared minus 4x factor through this is 2. Okay. So this is where I'm at right now. Okay. Oh, what? How did I go from like 3x squared to 9? That is so crazy, right? All right. If I factor out a 3, I just now have an x squared. Okay. So now I have an x squared minus 4x plus 2. As you can see, this is definitely not factorable, so I'm going to use the quadratic formula. Okay, so negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So we'll go up here since I'm out of space. So x equals, your b is negative 4, so it's going to be a positive 4 plus or minus. B is negative 4, negative 4 squared is 16, minus 4, A is 1, C is going to be positive 2, all over 2 times 1, which is 4 plus or minus, 16 minus 8 is rad 8, all over 2, which is really 4 plus 2 rad 2, 4 plus or minus 2 rad 2, all over 2, which leads me to believe is 2 plus or minus rad 2. Okay, so... These are my two answers right now. I need to find, right, as you can see, it says, is there a production level that maximizes profit? So this is going to be what I'm going to have. So I have two X levels, okay? That's going to give me a maximum profit. Let's see if I can break this up. X plus, oops, X equals, X equals 2 plus rad 2. Rad 2 is about 1.4, so this is equal to about 3.4, and then x equals 2 minus rad 2, and again, is 1.4, so 2 minus 1.4 is about 0.6, okay? So I have two x values that will maximize the profit, and so we're going to write those. The max profit is when x is about 3.41 thousand units, okay? Or x is at 0.6 thousand units, okay? So could both of them be a max? This is when you kind of have to plug it back and see which one's the min and which one's the max, okay? So you have two x location. Remember, these are the derivatives. Number one, I can't produce any zero items, so that's not possible over here. So I can have a 2 minus rad 2, and then this is going to be a 2 plus rad 2. Okay. I'm going to plug these in into the... Um, the uh, the derivative to see if this is min or max, okay? Or we can just kind of plug it in and see. Okay, so let's plug this into, let's get a different color. Let's plug this into revenue and cost. Remember, if the revenue is more than the cost, then that's profit, okay? So I'm just really interesting it into to see which one's more and which one's less. So when you revenue of uh, 0.6, okay, which is nine times 0.6, and then cost of 0.6, I'm just gonna try to use a calculator, okay? So this is gonna be 0.6 to the third, I'm going to need a calculator, huh? All right, let's bust out my calculator. Okay. So, oh, how about just, let's just graph it. Can I graph it? Let's go to Desmos to see at 0.6 which one is um, bigger. And in the, after this, I'm going to tell you a quick way. But right now, let's try to see if we understand why. Okay, so you have a revenue of 9x. Then you have another cost function of x to the third. Oh, wait. Why am I punching in the same one? Let's go down to here. That's your revenue. And then this is x to the third minus 6x squared plus... 15x. All right. 
So let me double check the equation. One's revenue. Let me pinch it in to see what's going on. So I am going to go stretch out the x's, but pinch in the y. Is that possible? No, that's not possible. Okay, so check this out. Can you see that there is a point of... Oh, oh my. Okay, it moved on me because I touched it. Can you see that there's a point of equilibrium right there? Okay, so that's when the revenue and cost is the same. That means we make no money, okay? So it looks like that's X location right there, okay, 1.3-ish. So it looks like over here somewhere, uh, revenue is the, um, the red curve, okay? Over here, before one point, before you make before you make any profit at all, everything before this, let's see what this value is. Everything before 1.268 thousand units, you're gonna lose money, okay? So what you're gonna look for is something more than that, because look at this, right? Above here is when the revenue is above the cost until it gets back down again to where you lose money again. So as you can see, if X value is before 1.3-ish, uh, then that's when you're gonna lose money. So out of these two numbers, okay, out of these two numbers, this is a lesser, okay, this is a lesser of the two, okay, that's less than 1.3-ish. So this is when you lose money, okay, maximum loss, okay, which I'm not really looking for that, or you can plug it in and see. Now, um, so usually when you are solving for this, this is sort of a rule of thumb, okay? When you solve for these, when it's looking for the maximum cost, I'm sorry, maximum profit, usually the first X will give you um, the, the max loss, okay? And then the second X is going to give you the, um, the, 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 the maximum profit. So when you have two X value, the higher one is the one that you want for max profit, okay? So the one that we want is this one, right there, okay? So maximum profit is achieved when, this is thousands of units, so make sure you write thousands of units or you add in three more zeros, okay? So 3.4 thousands unit okay or you can even do three and then if you add in three more zeros so that's sort of the same thing okay all right let's do b again just to kind of get a better understanding of max profit suppose your revenue is 6x okay your cost is x squared minus 4x plus 13. now before we go and do algebraically let's graph this out just to sort of see um, where the level is, where the equilibrium is, okay? Where am I going to balance out? Not, not a loss and not a, a gain, okay? So here we go. You have 6x, and the second equation is x squared minus 4x, okay? So x squared minus 4x plus 13. Okay, so let's check this out. So the orange is the cost, okay? So as you can see, the orange, the cost. So over here, the cost, let's see this point of, okay, this is the point where you're going to make even money. Okay, so 1.5-ish. Anything from 0 to 1.5 looks like you're going to lose money because the orange is your cost. Your cost is higher than your revenue. So you want to look for value that's above 1.5. So with that said, oops. That's it. Let's get back to our math algebra. So to find the revenue, the derivative of the revenue has to be the, the same as the derivative of the cost. This will give you either the most loss, or the maximum loss, or the maximum, maximum gain. So the, the derivative of revenue is 6 equals. This is 2x minus 4. I'm going to try to solve for um, x, so move the 6 over. So well, actually, let's just move this over here. Okay, so I have 10 equals 2x, so x equals 5. Okay, so we knew from the graph earlier, this is definitely bigger than 1.5, right? So right away, I know that that's going to be where the maximum profit will occur. So let's write our complete sentence. Maximum 
profit will occur when we produce 5,000 units. Okay, is that it? Okay, this is the end.